Hey there guys, C3 here, and uh, this is uh, episode 2 of Amnesia. See, so yeah, I figured this out. See how there's, you can see the seam in the door there. Uh, and I found this. <laughs> Did not find last time. A lever. Follow the door. So, uh, guess what? I'm in a dark room. I have a window open. And it's night. So, let's do this. Um, I'd just like to, you know, say, um, sorry about not talking much in the last episode, and sorry a bit about the lag, I've tried, I've dropped the graphics settings, uh, down one, and I'm gonna see if this one doesn't lag so much, so, um, yeah, and thank you for the correct criticism, about being told I should talk more and such, um, so, let's carry on, <laughs> Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... what did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the, the very stone this? of Brennenberg. Tavern plant can't be torn by hand or tool. Oh, Kali Dotley. So, yeah. Tinder box, okay. Nothing up there. Can my stupid road just not like you? Tinder box. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. So in today's episode, we're just going to carry on. Okay, uh, uh, totally. Fair enough then. Um. I don't know where many other places to go. Let's try in here. I'm actually getting a little scared about this game. Uh, it's actually starting to freak me out physically. This way. Laboratory. The door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor of Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. I wonder what that means. No, I don't want to light you. It's actually freaky. Um, I've heard about the previous one of this game. I can't remember what it's called right now, but it's made by the company. Um, I hear it's actually scarier. Uh, so I might do a playthrough of that too after I finish with this one. Kind of just been looking at that one. Oh, chest. Chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken a toll on many of the less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are strained by the fumes. It will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move, move them to the wine cellar. Yeah. 
should be more Cooperizer. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The former compound lacked the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine or ferment are given, and the culprit binds them well. This is I will attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis, and hope it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to use in years at the two. Organic tissue reacts especially violent to the solution and should be handled with great care. I must be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I'll find the alchemic solution. And one part aqua force. Hello to you too, okay. What's with these light fucking things? That is so annoying. Oh gosh, okay. So this time I don't know where to go. I think I have to go back out. These stairs. Okay. Um. So this game is actually slightly freaky. No, I'm not exactly the least most scareable person in the world, but I am rather gullible. Which makes it kind of bad for me. Um, so let's go back out of the laboratory. Unless this is the way to go. The other children cheered him on. His name voiced in a rising pace, urging him to do it. I'm really doing this, the young boy thought, but struck his victim with a rock. Um, Geared. What the hell is that? Will not open without a key. Okay, okay, so venture out into here. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. No, 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 no. Okay. Down there. Archives. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he raised the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she would too be knocked. What are worth these things, hey? Like, honestly, it's actually kind of worrying me how cryptic this game is. Um, I'm not very smart, so I actually don't know this. Uh, it's cryptic as bro. I'm a bit worried. Okay. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty-nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Um, okay, okay. That's kind of creepy. I hereby order my full attention to Sir Alexander Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign total of three years with 
when my freedoms are returned to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brandenburg has recommended my services at the Prussian Royal Court when the Sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal with him. Oh, so, something. Okay. What's in here? Can you all freak out, eh, in this game? Okay. I'm scared there's some like massively cryptic answer or something. That's gonna freak me out. Shit. Okay. Note. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today. I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage it's got to be an author. me. It looked much it's like older than the fourth century structure we expected. Incredible, man. The twisting paths emerged this into nice. a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues just, like, unlike quite any well. I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Trapped, bro, and you still wrote that. Nice. Libri Vitores. find things in the most absurd places in this game, eh? You know, just got my mate Josh said to me this morning, or I don't know, the one open is locked, okay. He said, games aren't scary. I actually kind of have to agree. Not. This game is actually starting to freak me out. It's just so all over the place. It's fucking absurd as fuck. I'm worried that it's going to, like, something's going to jump out at any second and freak me, man. I'm actually worried about that. So I'm gonna say, uh, what the fuck? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, okay. Venture forth, young Padawan. The force will be with you. Damn it, can't play piano. I don't actually want that up. Okay, the force will be with me. And you guys should all play this game. What the fuck was that? No, no, no. <laughs> blood, 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 blood. No, no, no. Job and not breakable by hand. Okay. What's in here? This might be your sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Well. What? No, no. Black out, black out. 17th of May, 1839. 
After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue Not yet. shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. What the hell? What is this? Okay. What is this? It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. Unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. Grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of the most peculiar relic. I'm worried now. Anyway guys, this will be the end of the episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you all later with episode 3. And um, this game is actually starting to scare me if you ask me. Because um, it just gets creepier and creepier as things go along. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all later.